Hi, I'm Tim Dowd, and this is Silver Cheese's The Take on Comics. Hi, I'm here with Mike Wolfer, and he is the writer, artist, and cover artist to Gravel right here. Uh, Mike, why don't you tell me a little bit about your, about your project here? Uh, Gravel, uh, actually a lot of people think it's a new series, uh, and the full color series that we're doing is new. It's only been out for about two years, but the character goes back to 1999. His really? first appearance, yeah. Um, which is all covered in this incredibly huge volume, just to show people that Gravel's not a new character. I mean, this 576 pages of material I drew prior to the new book. So Gravel's been around for many, many years, and uh, I've been with him from the beginning, uh, working with Warren Ellis. Uh, originally, I was just the artist on the series, and then I started doing a little bit of the scripting, and then I moved into actually Writing the writing the series right. and drawing. So, right. All right. Great. Now, what is what is Gravel about? What is the story line here of, of the character? Gravel is a, a British SAS uh, sergeant major, okay. and he's also a combat magician. That's his that's his hook. Okay. So um, there's a lot of uh, you know like pretty violent military intrigue, and then there's also like this really bizarre uh, occult spin to it. So there's a lot of supernatural things going on. A lot of bullets and magic and smoking and drinking and cursing and. Uh, well, I mean, it is a Warren Ellis typical, is involved in it. <laughs> typical Warren Ellis, yes, yes, absolutely. All right. Now, for the folks at home, maybe people who haven't heard of it or who have only recently heard about it, right. what is what is the moment? What do you think is the one thing you can really say about this series that will say, "Buy me, get me out," you know, put your money for this book. The one moment. One Actually, I, I I don't want to sound like a sellout, but uh, Gravel was optioned by Legendary Pictures, uh, who did you know a couple movies, uh, Watchmen, uh, Dark Knight, something called 300. Uh, I've I've vaguely heard of these films. They were kind of art house yeah, things, right? It was yeah. Very small. Yeah, but so that's like really really exciting, yeah. and they're they're they have a script written, from what I understand. Uh, they're looking to looking at directors now and looking to attach uh, uh, actors to it. So that would be a good reason to pick up the series because there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of gravel out there, and a lot of people are are you know obviously going to be saying, "Oh, you mean that was a comic book? Okay, now you know." So so you so, could... so so buy your comics now while they're still available, you know, because when the movie comes out, they'll be worth a lot of money. And, and so you can get in the ground floor and yeah. say it's like, "Oh, I liked it before I, yeah. it was popular." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? What would you say, I know this may be a bit breaking the rules, but all the actors that you're aware of in the world, yeah. who would you cast right now, if you can get anyone? Um, boy, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of British guys who are, are fantastic. In my mind, I kind of like Daniel Craig. Okay. That's just me. I mean, other people have said, no, Kiefer Sutherland would be perfect, no. or, you know, which I don't know, I mean, uh, who knows? But uh, I think I'm more with the Daniel Craig there. I, I know we have a certain uh, producer who uh, is a big uh, Daniel Craig oh, fan yeah. in many, many ways. <laughs> anyway, uh, cool. thank you so much for your time. Sure thing, um, best of luck. With sure the thing. Thank, thank you. you.